So it seems like I'm inspired to do some uh, reporting uh, here in uh, uh, San Francisco, Oakland, San Jose area in California while I'm here. I've been here for the few days. I've been to Oakland where I presented Andrews, a mentoring program for Asian Americans in the Episcopal Church. And I've been to uh, San Francisco to attend the 112th anniversary of True Sunshine Church and the retirement of my colleague, Dr. Franco Juan. And uh, in Sacramento, where we are trying to revive the uh, once uh, organized church that uh, uh, among the Filipinos, uh, uh, there are some members who are there visiting them. And I've uh, been to Oak, uh, Colma and Daly City. And now I'm here in Silicon Valley, Santa Clara County, or otherwise known as Silicon Valley, the home of the largest electronics industry, where Steve Jobs and even Bill Gates have found their niche uh, in the electronics and high-tech high industries. Now, this has been my home. There was This was my home for almost 16 years from 19... 88 to 2004, so I know a lot about Silicon Valley. In 1990, I did a research uh, on ministry here and found out that at the time there were 1.5 million people in Silicon Valley, and of this population, only 7% go to church or are members of organized Christianity. So it was quite a unchurched population. I was made to comment that if Silicon Valley were in Africa or in Asia or Latin America in the 19, in the 1800s, uh, missionaries would go to Silicon Valley and invest their missionary dollars for the conversion of Silicon Valley. So I planted a church here with my wife. We planted the first Filipino Episcopal Church in San Jose, California, which which became a um, after they covenanted with the Anglo Church, and it's now a Holy Family Episcopal Church with uh, Ruth, uh, Doctor, uh, Father, <laughs> Mother Ruth Casibet, Pastor Ruth Casibet Pagio as the rector. Uh, I'm happy about that, but also to say that Silicon Valley is uh, the home of many entrepreneurs, especially in the high-tech industry, but it's also a graveyard of many missions. Many missions, Christian missions, have started here and did not grow, and the church had been in decline for many years, and so it's exciting that the ethnic communities... Oh yes, um, in my research I found out in 1990 that when I first came in 1990, uh, there were the population was 40 percent people of color and 60 percent uh, Caucasians. But 10 years later, in the year 2000, the uh, demographic ratio was reversed, and there was uh, 60 percent people of color and 40 percent uh, Caucasians or Anglo's. And so this seemed to me the trend of many many cities in the United States. And so people of color uh, can be the new community, uh, part of the movement to make us all a uh, beloved community where all people of colors, black, white, yellow, brown, will be together, uh, become members of the Church of our Lord Jesus Christ. So thank you. I'm going back to uh, California tonight and be reunited with my churches and my ministries there in the Diocese of Long Island and the Diocese of New York, uh, especially the Episcopal Church Center. Thank you. Thank you again, Facebook friends. Bye.